Yo, what's up guys, John Boogle here, and today it is time for Manic Flying Forest Beast. This level is definitely a bit tricky, so keep locked in in this guide. But before we start off the guide, of course, gotta mention there is a Boogle Discord if you didn't know, so go join it down below in the description. There's monthly Nitro giveaways there, and it's pretty hype, but yeah. Let's hop into the guide. Here we go. Now this level is possible, no gotcha, but you do need level 30 manix for that. So I do not recommend trying it unless you do have level 30 manix because there isn't much replacements for crowd controlling the boars in this level, no gotcha. So if you are doing it, no gotcha, you will need just pure burst damage and trying to take out the boars before they become a big threat. Now the first lineup here is pretty simple. We have two crowd control units for both of the boars. Can Can being the CC unit for the red boar and Seafair being the CC unit for the alien boar. Now if your Can Can is pretty boosted you could replace Craze Whale with another crowd control unit like Witch Cat or any other anti-red unit. Thaumaturge can help with both the red and alien boar. Just make sure the crowd control effect is everything but knockback. You do not want knockbacks in this stage and you'll see why. But yeah, let's hop into the strategy. Here we go. Power ups I recommend for this is Sniper Cat. Everything else is not needed, but it does help if you bring it. So if you bring Rich Cat, it can help in the beginning a lot. <laughs> The reason I suggest bringing Sniper Cat is because this Manic Flying only has one knockback so it is super hard to crowd control unless you get super lucky with Jamera knockbacks. Now the beginning is very simple, similar to Crazed Bird, you just want to rush in the beginning, get as much damage as possible and stall the Manic Flying and limit its movement as much as possible. Now this video does have a lot of strategies in it so make sure you look through there is going to be multiple strategies in this video. It's probably going to be one of the bigger manic guides I make so keep that in mind. Anyways in the beginning here you want to keep on pushing. Yes there is a range there but it is only one right now so we still have a little opportunity to push. And just like Crazed Bird, but it's even more strict this time, every hit counts on the Manic Flying. You have to chip this Manic Flying down as much as possible, because this fight will be super long if you do not. Now after the second rain D, a bit after, there will be the first boar coming, so lure it out a bit, and that's your time to spawn in your proc units for the red boar, and try to burst this boar down as fast as possible. Now Manic Macho Legs really helps in the beginning here when there's reindees behind the boar. It helps control those reindees and knock them back constantly so all your units can just focus on the boar and not be disturbed by the reindees annoyance. And every time you do get the chance to use your laser, do use it because it is extra crowd control for the Manic Flying and it does help since he only has one knockback. Now after you kill the boar there is going to be a reindeer that arrives and a bit after that there is going to be a moth that arrives. So get as much damage as you can right here but stay above 6000 cash. Now this is the tricky part, trying to sync up the reindeers without wasting too much time. If you aren't able to sync them up properly, don't worry, just somehow get them close to syncing up and that's good enough. Once you do that, you just want to lure and try to take them out. And of course, the fastest way to take them out is a Bahamut, but if you want to do it the other route and just take them out with your attackers, you can as well. Now in this run we used a more different strategy where we lured out the other reindeer. So in this run we killed the moth and here comes the third reindeer. So this is our opportunity to lure and take out all three, maybe all three of all these reindeers. Then we have just free damage on manic flying. So 
that's what we're going to attempt to do right here. Now the tricky part is trying to sync up the reindees, but if they aren't synced up, do not worry. You just have to protect your Bahamut while he's in his attack animation and he will effectively take out the reindees like that. Now you have all the time to get as much damage on Manic Flying as possible. So do that and do it well. But also keep an eye on your cash because you have to prepare for the next boar wave and it's coming right now. This is exactly why you do not want to take too long sinking up the reindees. Otherwise the boar will just come in front of two to three reindees and that will be pretty hell. So now same thing lure out the boar and take it out as quick as possible. The proc units are really key here like if you're using Psycho Cat or Thaumaturd, if you're using Chill Cat to burst it down, just anything to crowd control the boars. If you're using Elemental Duelist to shred the red boar, Bath Cat to shred it, Can Can to proc that slow and also shred it in the process. Witch Cat, whatever proc unit you are using, now's the time to use it but do not use knockback proc units because if you do then you will knock the boar back into manic flying's range and there goes all your cats and if you do not lure enough you can also get a damage knockback and that will also knock the boar into manic flying's range so make sure you do lure enough and take him out. And in this run we did accidentally send out a Bahamut so that's going to be a bit of a problem later on in this run. But if you're able to manage the reindees just a little bit longer and get them stacked up again then you could probably take them out. And as you can see that accidental a Bahamut led to reindees stacking up and now the next boar is about to arrive. This time it's going to be with 2-3 to three reindees pushing with it as well. So if this does happen, there's a big chance we're going to lose. Unless you just completely shred the boar in seconds. And with the power of Can Can procs and Craze Whale damage and everything else, we were able to shred the boar in a matter of seconds. And if this does happen, then you are super lucky and you could pretty much reset and go all over again and got an A Bahamut out to take care of the reindees as well and there we go you're kind of back to square one just more reindees this time so make sure you do not mess up your Bahamut cycles otherwise you will have a problem with reindees as you can see and here we go the next boar arrives and this one should be pretty easy to handle since there's only one to two reindees if there's more than two it does become a bit difficult and there's also a moth that arrives as well it's pretty much the same cycle over and over again so if you have a perfect cycle ready for each boar cycle that means taking out the boar quickly letting the reindees out, luring them, wiping out all of the reindees, then getting free damage on Manic Flying. That is the perfect cycle. Then as soon as that cycle ends, it starts up again with the next boar wave coming. The main thing is getting those A Bahamut cycles correct and that one A Bahamut misclick messed up this whole run and all the cycles. Now if you aren't using Cyberpunk this is gonna be a very lengthy level since it is so difficult to get damage on Manic Flying consistently so keep that in mind. But of course we'll hop into the easy lineup as well since this wouldn't be called a how to beat Manic Flying easily. So yeah this is pretty much the basic lineup just try to cycle your Jamera as much as possible and try to sync up the reindees but do not waste too much time syncing them up otherwise you'll have to deal with the boars with reindees paired with it so you do not want that and it will be very hell if that does happen by the way Matic Macho Legs with the killing blow right there <laughs> anyways let's hop into the second level now or the second lineup rather. And here we go with the second lineup. And of course 
you already probably know what's gonna be the main unit in this lineup and that being cyberpunk pretty much any lineup works with cyberpunk as long as you have something to deal with the reindees like cyborg dragon manic muscle legs something to deal with the red boar and this lineup we have icat and of course can can and of course something to deal with the alien boar as well and we have seafarer for that the rest is just cycling bahamut for either manic flying itself or the reindees then just letting cyberpunk carry the rest of the level now if you're using octo you can do the whole combo of octo and fishman in the beginning here and do super massive damage this will definitely save you five to seven extra minutes on beating this damn level so make sure you do as much damage in the beginning as possible and fishman octo is the best way for that now this is a lot different because we do not have to lure and take out the reindees once the boar arrives we can take the boar out get cyberpunk out and after that there's no more luring you just have to push 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 and try to take out the manic flying as fast as possible you do not need to lure the reindees because you have cyberpunk you do not need to lure the boars because cyberpunk the other units will take care of the rest now if you want to lure in the beginning here you can and that's what we did so we have a clean slate to just take out this boar and have cyberpunk ready without the interruption of the reindees so if you want to lure the first two reindees take them out with a bahamut that's fine but you can also use your attackers to take them out and save your a bahamut to cycle it on the manic flying itself but that becomes a bit harder to do later on in the level so that's why it's recommended to do this in the beginning since it is much easier to do so but once that happens it's pretty much just cat spam after that but also do maintain your cash because it can be draining constantly spawning octo and fishman all the time and seafarer so keep that in mind just make sure you have enough cash for cyberpunk every time it is recharged and you have enough cash for all the boar waves other than that just push as much as possible really now some other units that are very good in this lineup once again cyberpunk pretty much carries it so the rest can just be attackers elemental duelist you can use batcat you can even use ubers like luffy or any other crazy uber that's low cost like balrog to just completely shred the boars and cyborg even to just completely shred the reindees manic macho legs you could keep that in this lineup just make sure you have one proc unit for the red boar and one for the alien boar the rest can be attackers even double dragon can work by just taking out the reindees but if you have fishman and octo you can just pretty much copy this lineup and just <laughs> pretty much let cyber carry the rest cosmo the uber cosmo actually works very well here as well same with other ubers that outrange manic flying like luffy but yeah there isn't really much strategy in this lineup it's pretty much just cyber carry and pushing as much as possible but also saving your cash for the boar waves and cycling a bahamut every now and then to get damage on the manic flying or just completely wipe out the reindees but other than that it's just cyber carry so not really much strategy here to explain but let's hop into one last lineup that does not include cyberpunk but it is another way to do the level so yeah let's hop into that now let's say you don't have cyberpunk but you have octo and fishman well here you go this is the octo fishman strategy basically it's mixing both of the previous strategies in this video into one so instead of just cyberpunk carrying the whole thing you have fishman and octo for the push cycle instead of jamera 
and then you have a Bahamut to lure and take out the Reindees instead of Cyberpunk just completely carrying. If you want to be extremely extra, you can also use Jamera in this lineup and use it when you're pushing with Octo and Fishman every time you take care of the Reindee cycle. But yes, yeah, pretty much just taking the key things from the first strategy mentioned in this video by taking out the boars quickly and luring the Reindees, taking them out with a Bahamut, then you have a clean slate to just push with Octo and Fishman and Jamera if you are using it. It is way better than just cycling Jamera over and over again. It is a lot faster with Octo and Fishman. And if you're using stuff like Can Can or Crazed Whale, once Octo weakens Manic Flying, those two units, Can Can and Crazed Whale, can unleash all hell on Manic Flying as well. But same thing here, lure the boar, take out the boar, let the reindees stack up after the boar because there's going to be another reindee that comes after the boar. Stack up those reindees and then lure those reindees, take them all out with a Bahamut. There's going to be a moth there as well so you can take that out first if you want, then lure, then take out all the reindees. After that, it's your opportunity to get damage on Manic Flying. And after that, it's just repeat the cycle over and over again. But this time, of course, it will not take over 20 minutes because the power of Fishman and Octo is pretty good in this level. I'll explain it here again in case you forgot. Do not spend too much time syncing up the Reindees. As you can see, we got two of them synced up and it's still enough to take out all the reindees as long as you send out Manic Macho to stall the reindees attack so that Bahamut doesn't get attacked in his attack animation. And if you're lucky enough, you'll be able to also get a hit on Manic Flying as well. But yeah, you can see how overpowered it is now with Octo and Fishman once you sweep all the reindees. And of course, if you have questions about what units to use, and if you're unsure if a certain unit will work in this level, make sure to comment it down below. I'm likely to reply, and I most likely will know if the unit does work or not, unless I completely haven't used that unit in this level before. But I've done this level a decent amount of times, to know what units are pretty good for this level and that's not counting all the hundreds of times I've previously done this level on previous accounts but yeah that pretty much wraps up the whole manic flying guide this one was a pretty big one and it is pretty difficult to some people so if you have cyberpunk congratulations if you have other units like Cosmo and Luffy it's gonna be super easy but yeah, go in the comments below if you are confused on something. Another nice place to get some help is the Google Discord. You can always go there. You can show all your units you have and your levels and stuff. And we can make a personalized strategy. Or you can just ask questions there. Or just chill out there. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up the Manic Guide. Drop a like if this guide will help you out. Subscribe if you're new. Join the hashtag Google Gang. It's been John Boogle and see ya.